So it is 30 degrees on January 18, where I live, where the temperature started falling earlier in the week. And with that came the falling of snow, the accumulation of ice, and a huge decrease in temperatures. And so I had a particular morning where the thermostat on the car was registering about three degrees, right? And so anyway, I had some cracks that formed as the ice started to clear up, as, you know, the windshield cleared up to um, increase visibility. So did a crack start to expand from the left side of the windshield all the way to uh, nearly the right side, uh, stopping about 12 inches shy of breaching the windshield entirely. And then I had another crack that developed uh, alongside that one. And so it's like, okay, I wasn't too worried because it's like, okay, it's cold and it's deeply cold and you can deal with this at a different time. The main focus is to drive safely, get to your destination and do what you have to do. But with forecasts, you know, you know, I guess talking about sleet, hail coming down and all this kind of things, it's like, you know, I wouldn't want uh, a, a nice size uh, piece of hail to interact with the windshield and breach the crack further. So I decided I needed to take some actions to deal with this. And so this is more of a vlog entry to chronicle that. All right. Another year with some ice and snow and some car problems. I got a nice little crack that extends all the way, all the way, all the way to right about here. So let me see, I can let me pinpoint that. So yeah, from right there, that's where it starts. It started um, as a small little crack right here from here to about here, right? It was a little small crack. You know, I came out one day, started the car, and I said, oh, where did this crack come from? So some kind of crack just started right there. I don't know how that developed. But then it just started growing, growing, and growing, and growing. And it grew even more pronounced the last couple of days here because of you know, the cold weather. Cause right now I'm out here and it's about 25, 22 degrees. Um, oh, okay. And then, okay. So now I got this new crack, right? So it's going all the way over there from one end of the windshield all the way down this way. Okay. So I got some rain X, um, windshield repair. And I'm going to try to um, seal the breach or at least prevent further uh, growth of the crack because we're expecting some sleet and hail potentially. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but if that did happen, this could turn into a much worse situation. So I'm like, I'm going to uh, try to take some preventative action here. This isn't going to fully repair this crack. But given the way weather is going right now, this will at least, um, and my, my plan is to uh, put the majority of the focus right here at the termination end of the cracks, right here and here, so that, you know, I stop any uh, further growth, right? So I will uh, stop recording now and get to it because it's, it's cold out here. thermostat shows 25 degrees and uh, I can tell you it feels a lot colder than that outside so what I have to do is because to do this properly right I needed to well you can't actually see it but I had to clean the area right because there was mud there was particles and as I was using uh, my one of my face cloths here, right? One of my rags. It was so cold that it was icing back up. So I have the uh, air conditioner on, which is kind of risky because I don't know if this, um, 
you see it here. You see if I can get a good view. But it's hard to do these these uh, here. Let me see if I can angle the light so you can see the crack. Uh, yeah, that's I can I can see it, but these things don't always translate well on camera. But anyway, the crack terminates right here where you see this dimple of light. So this is where the crack terminates, and look at the hold on. Look at the distance between where the crack terminates, okay, right here, where I now have my finger, right? Okay, so you got just this small area right here. So if this crack was to extend down here, this entire bottom half of the windshield could actually come apart, okay? And then, you know, I got this uh, crack up here, right? I got a crack up there. And so I'm going to focus mainly on this one. This is my main mission right now is to get this resolved. And I needed the air conditioning on so that I can prevent re-icing while I'm uh, using this. Um, this is Rain-X uh, repair kit. Okay, you can get it at Walmart. And... I'm, I, I got some scissors. I'm going to cut this in right here. And then I'm going to apply it along the crack, right? I'm not sure I got enough material in this tube to go the entire length. But I'm going to take my time. And it's going to be a rough job. I read the instructions thoroughly. But because of the temperatures, and this is winter, um, I'm not going to be able to cure it. C-U-R-E. I'm not going to be able to cure it in sunlight the way the instructions uh, indicate because that, that assumes that you're doing this during late spring or sometime during the summer or early fall. So, but something's better than nothing in this case. And then I also got some clear silicone adhesive that I'm gonna put on the other side of the windshield, right? That's gonna reinforce it from the other side. It's not gonna look pretty when I'm done, when I do that. It's gonna be a little scar that's obviously visible, but I'd rather have a scar than a uh, fully compromised windshield. So that's what I'm attempting to do out here in 25 degree weather. So my hands are starting to crack, but I can take it. So um, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, all right, I'm about to wrap this up, but I got the, uh, I've applied the sealant and uh, it's not pretty, not by a long shot, but um, major areas of the crack has been treated and so what I'm gonna do because my hands are just cracking on get out and yeah I got residue dripping down the windshield that's fine because you could treat that with a razor blade but uh yeah so this is some of the winter adventures in 2024 so uh, with that I will see you later all right so it's the uh next day and let's see what the results are. Got quite a bit of, um, the cracks are still there, okay? But that's not the crack I'm worried about. It's this one down here at the bottom. And you see that my, the solution that I put on here, the Rain-X solution, I wasn't able to apply all the way because it says that it will actually clear up the crack, you know? And so some of the crack is clear, cleared up, right? And some of it is not. So the crack extends all the way to the edge here and it just keeps going this way. It's like a curve. And then it terminates right about here. And I don't see the crack growing, right? And so it looks like um, some success, but the sun didn't come out the way I had hoped. And so it didn't get the cure, right? So, um, so I've been wiping the windshield down with uh, paper towels, right? And um, trying to uh, not aggravate it because my uh, wiper blades are a little frayed. And so, you know, the, the increased tension that they would put on the windshield uh, probably isn't welcome at this time. So um, I've just uh, been, you know, getting around that a little bit. So, so yeah, um, that's uh, the adventures of uh, uh, winter 2024. And, um, you know, the, the, the good news about this is that um, it adds to the knowledge base it adds to wisdom, and we can use this 
to create a better future in the days to come.